Hello garden people! We're back out at the garden and last night we had a freeze. I'm not exactly sure how cold it got, but it looked like it should have been around 32. Uh, somewhere between 34 and 30. So I did actually wrap up some of the plants, um, although I just took off all the wrappings. But I wanted to show you what things uh, survived well and what something struggled. So you can see in here, the spinach and everything came through totally fine. But it seems like the two spe well, the three species that really got affected were the potatoes. And it's kind of hard to see now, but you can see it's sort of wilty. Um, I imagine that the majority of these leaves actually will die. If we take a closer look, you can sort of see it has that... I don't know, it's lost its turgidity, meaning the cells are probably ruptured. Um, and if you've ever, like, frozen leaves and then pulled them out, they kind of look like this. So you can see it's all floppy. Uh, normally it'd be much more like this uh, spinach leaf, you know, which is pretty rigid. One to set. <laughs> so the spinach went fine. The potatoes are definitely dinged pretty hard. If you look closely, like really what you're interested in is the center. Because like the outer leaves could die, but if the stem's not dead, it should keep growing. But it looks like there's a reasonable chance that all of that's dead. Except for this growth down here, that looks pretty healthy. So we'll see, it's not a huge deal either way. Also the tomatoes. So if actually we come back down here, this is one I didn't wrap. And you can see it's pretty much toast. Um, now that's not totally surprising. Um, anyone in, in Iowa or the Midwest or really temperate climates in general should take last frost date seriously. I mean, our 90 percentile last frost date is May 15th. I think today is May 9th. So it's been sort of unseasonably warm, but it's not particularly surprising that we'd have this. And I actually think there's gonna be a couple more days, it looks like, that we'll get down to 34-ish range. So uh, I, my best tomatoes are actually still inside in my seed starting setup. So these were kind of surplus ones that I thought I would gamble. And you know, if it were warm, they would have extra days outside to be extra vigorous. Uh, but I'll definitely be replacing most of them. So those are potatoes. Tomatoes got dinged pretty hard. I didn't plant out any of my peppers yet because I know they're pretty sensitive, uh, even more than tomatoes. Um, the sweet potatoes, I covered some and didn't cover others. Um, so this one, actually, I think I did cover. Or it was actually, I'm not sure if I covered this one, but you can see its outer leaves definitely got hit pretty hard. This one I did cover, and it looks like it's actually doing okay. Uh, <laughs> compounding the effect of the cold on the sweet potatoes is that I didn't actually adequately harden them off before I planted them out. I bought them at the greenhouse in town and then put them right into the ground. So I actually think they got kind of sun scalded and then they're getting dinged by the cold. So the, the discoloration of the leaves is actually a combination of factors, but definitely the fact that some of those leaves are flaccid mm -hmm. instead of turgid uh, is a result of the cold. So there's a few other ones of those around the garden that just got totally wiped out. A few other tomatoes that got totally wiped out. And the potatoes, here's another patch of potatoes. You can see that there are some interesting like microclimate effects. So for some reason, this one wasn't wrapped, but it's doing fine. But you know, right next to it, a lot of this foliage is dead um, or is on the process of dying. Same thing with here. You can see this is really struggling. So yeah, potato is definitely somewhat cold sensitive. But other than that, it could have been much, much worse. You know, if I only lose a fair number of uh, potatoes and a few extra tomato plants, totally fine. Uh, the strawberries all look healthy. I don't think it got cold enough to really wipe out the peach blossoms. Um, the plum tree looks like it's beginning to set fruit. And so, you know, if I had to choose, I think this is actually doing really well. Um, the perennial plants, I haven't really seen anything that's damaged at all. And really, it wouldn't be the plant dying, at least at these temperatures. It would be the flowers and the, and the fruits that would fall. Oh, yeah, interestingly, this is kind of a weak little uh, tomato plant that I put up here, but it looks like it survived. Um, but if you look here, you know, it, we're transitioning in that zone from the flower blossom to when the fruit, the ovum starts developing. And it's kind of hard to see. A lot of these will actually fall off just naturally. It'll prune out most of them. Um, so it's always kind of a waiting game. So you, we saw a bunch of blooms this spring. How many of them will turn into fruit? And then of those fruits that begin to form, how, do you, how many will actually get through that first pruning cycle the tree does? Because uh, it drops about half of the fruits that it begins to set. So we'll see. But overall, that's the results of a, a late frost uh, in the garden. And hopefully we don't have too many more and the garden continues to grow and we have a good season. So thought I would give you an update and that's the video.